What's up guys? As you can see and hear, it's raining again. So most of the video will be done inside today. But uh, I'll just show you how we're coming along with the pond. Everything's looking good, everything's coming together. Fish are doing good, water parameters are good. So stand by for the rest of the video and there's something very, very, very special for my friend Andy over there at Koi Pond Lifestyle. So stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. Hey guys, uh, pardon the sound of the rain, but I want to give you an update quick on the, the fish. They're doing good. As you can see, the black one's back in there, hanging out with all of his old pals. Um, you can tell, I have the tank in. And I'll take you downstairs and show you the aquarium updates here in a hot minute. Got some nice plants in here make it look a little nicer oh feeder went off look at that perfect timing look at the fish go and again if i sound a little crappy it's because yeah my allergies and or my cold is still bothering me a bit but anyway i put the uv right here what i'm doing is i got an 800 gallon per hour pump running through canister canister's got filter foams in it it's coming out of this canister into the uv back out into there now the reason i started doing it that way was because when i was just pumping it through i was getting a lot of algae into the filter and it was it just wasn't working as good and since i put the filter foams in ran it through this little canister i'm not using the pump on the canister as you can tell i'm just force feeding it from the pump in the pond up into the canister so it's working well it worked a lot better actually i was pretty impressed with that so like i said fish are doing good got the observation tower in and again andy you're going to want to pay attention to the next video and here it comes Finally used it. So cool. Love it. Hey guys, down in the basement. As you can tell, no hexagon aquarium no more. Went with a rectangle one, went with the canister filter, got rid of the other two that were hanging inside of there. Have the old lid there still sitting over part of it. Over here, everything's going good here. Got this little pre-filter off of eBay before the canister filter to help catch all the rough debris. And I'm telling you, it works good. I really like it. I'm glad about it. It's like 25, 25 bucks, I think. Filters are still going here. As you can tell, there's plenty of filtration in this tank. Uh, parameters as far as ammonia and the nitrite are, are back on point. They're good. My nitrate's still highly elevated. So what I did is, like I said, I bought that external filter Filled that canister filter up with pretty much nothing but biomedia. Went and got some of the uh, bio home balls, not bio home, but uh, those ones are made by Top Fin. But filled a couple trays full of that. And also did that on this one too, but I do not have a pre filter on this one. These canister filters are rated for 100, 100 gallon tank, I do believe. And right here, I mean, that's only a 30. And that's a 55 so like i said there's it, it should be kicking in helping out the nitrate a little bit so so i got conclusion of the video on its way stand by what's up guys so as you'll see everything seems to be working all right got the uh observation tower back out and funny story about that is I I knew eventually I was gonna have to break down that hexagon 
tank so I could get it put back out there this year. And this one, this tank here, I was having those parameter issues with the nitrate staying, nitrate, sorry, staying so high that I just didn't feel it'd be the best decision to slam six more fish in here. So lo and behold, I found on the wonderful Facebook, somebody was getting rid of a 10 gallon tank and a 29 gallon tank and it was just basically first come first serve and they were only about eight blocks away from where i lived uh, so i went and got them they said they don't leak there's nothing wrong with them they just don't need them anymore and i was like perfect i'll take them uh, brought it back took all the water out of the hexagon put it in the new 29 gallon and got it up and running and cleaned up the hexagon quick and got it put out there. And as you'll see in the video, one of the fish, my Matsuba, which is pretty much the bravest one of the whole batch, was the first one in there. It didn't take very long. And uh, they've all, pretty much all of them, have been up in there once or twice since. Of course, I've been watching it. Uh, that's why I put it in there. So, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty excited that they actually used it this spring so far. So, other than that, uh, it's been raining off and on. I haven't gotten much farther on the pond, the new pond. As you'll see, I did get some more decoration done on the old pond. It looks a lot nicer right now, I think. And uh, still just fighting away, plugging away with keeping the parameters in the aquariums on point. And uh, it's going all right. Uh, just trying to get that nitrate under control. So I'll probably do a little bit of a, a more in-depth filtration video coming up one of these next couple days because I've been learning a lot. I've been doing a lot of research on how to keep the nitrate under control. And there is other things you can do besides planting plants and besides water changes. And uh, that's what I'm going after. And the, the nice thing that the aquarium hobby brings to a ponder, all right, is you you can implement the things you learn in the aquarium hobby into your pond hobby it, it's the same thing you have a box full of water that you're trying to maintain at a perfect level to keep the fish healthy so other than that guys uh, as usual um keep on improving keep on investing and uh hopefully the weather starts to cooperate in the next couple weekends I can have some more videos on the new pond build. So that's all I got on this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Like the video. And uh, we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Later.